and welcome everyone. In this video we are going to work with tactic and games. This is the first position. It is white to move. White can win here. As you can see white has an extra pawn here but black knight is controlling and also black king is controlling is close to the promotion square so it seems like it should be an easy draw for black however there is a way to win for white the first move for white here is knight b7 black knight has to take and then a6 and you believe it or not this knight won't be able to capture or control any of these squares before this pawn promotes. Let's see, after something like knight d6, then a7, and there is nothing black can do. Also, move like king c7, then just a7, and this is also winning. White to move, white wins. As you can see, white has a passed pawn here at 7th rank but there is a small problem uh, the rook is blocking the pawn and if the rook moves somewhere then the pawn will be hanging if by some way we could move this rook and put this king in check we could win here but as you can see this pawn is protecting black king from checks so that's why the first move here is going to be d5. If black king takes, then rook d8 check and the pawn will promote. And if pawn takes, then the check will be on c8. And it's the same idea here. Uh, after something like rook h6, then d6, and this pawn is also about to promote. And after rook takes, then rook f8, uh, white is going to get at least a rook for the pawn. White to move, white can get a draw in this position. As you can see, black has an extra rook. The first move for white here is queen takes a6. After king takes queen, only move then white plays e5 and after king g7 or king h7 this is going to be a stalemate white king cannot move anywhere and also white pawns are blocked right now that means that white doesn't have any legal move and white king is not in check so this is a draw White to move and wins here. White has two rooks for the queen in this position. Also, black king doesn't look very safe on h6. The first move will be rook takes f8. And after queen takes rook, then rook d8. The idea is that after queen takes rook, then knight f7 and knight takes queen. And this is winning for white because there is a, a piece in advantage here. But also, after something like queen c5, white can't play king h1, and white will be threatening rook h8 checkmate here. And it's not easy to stop that, so white will be winning there. It is black to move here, black can win this position. They have a bishop and a knight versus a queen here. But there is this amazing line. The first move here is bishop takes d4. White has two options, king takes bishop, but then knight b5. And after queen takes bishop, then knight c6. In both lines, 
Black takes the queen and wins with this pawn. Black to move here, black wins. If we analyze the position, we will see that there are some checkmate ideas around. For example, if this knight was not controlling here, then knight e3 would be checkmate. And also, if this knight was not controlling here, then knight g3 would be checkmate. Also, white king cannot move anywhere right now. That means that if white had to move right now, then black would be winning when any of these knights move. That means that if we can just make a tempo and keep controlling all these squares around white king, then we are going to win. That's why the first move will be king h1. And after this, there's nothing white can do. If this knight moves, then knight g3 checkmate. And if this knight moves, then knight e3 checkmate. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you think this was more or less good, give me a like. That will help my channel so much. I hope you keep progressing at chess. So that's it. Thank you and bye for now.